All right, here we go with men's group A middleweight action. Johan Lidon from France set to square off with uh, Vladimir Moravchik of Slovakia. Ladies and gentlemen, from Den Haag, Warrior Cast Productions brings you Group A in our middleweight division Muay Thai matchup. Now into this is going to be a great fight. Johan Lidon was supposed to be fighting in our first round in L.A., but due to a last-minute injury of a hamstring pull for Yotsen Klai, we did not get to see him. He is a fantastic fighter, great punching power, great timing. You know, WBC world champion, uh, it's Showtime world champion, a beast in the ring. You know, Vladimir Moravchik, we saw him last fight in Italy, also a great fighter. He got one point on a, on a, on a draw. You know, and it's going to be interesting to see what happens here in this fight. They have different styles. Vlado likes to clinch, likes to elbow, likes to knee. And uh, Lidon likes to see on the outside, uses hands and his kicks. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens here tonight. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape for this uh, men's uh, Group A middleweight matchup. Yuan Lidon against uh, Vladimir Moravchik. Moravchik four years younger, taller, but lighter going into this middleweight tilt. And a crucial one, as you mentioned, Lidon was supposed to have fought in uh, Long Beach, California, but uh, Yotsen Klai was injured. And Moravchik, of course, coming off the draw in Padova, Italy. Moravchik had a good performance. I mean, he started a little bit slow. He was the aggressor, but wasn't landing enough. And then in the last round, he started to dominate Presti, and that's what gave him the draw. So it's going to be interesting to see if he can start quick enough here tonight. Lidon, as I said, is a, a big puncher, likes to use his kicks as well, and see on the outside. And they have differing styles. So it's going to be who can dominate with their style tonight. All right, fight fans, here we go. First in the white corner, weighing 72.3 kilos, standing 180 centimeters, age 28. From Paris, France, and fighting out of Team Nas, R.K. Stephons, with a record of 88 and 15. 61 wins by way of knockout. This man is both the WKA kickboxing and Muay Thai world champion, and is the WBC Muay Thai world champion. Introducing Johan Ledon. And across the ring, Weighing 70.8 kilos, standing 188 centimeters. Ace 24 from Banks, Bestrika, Slovakia, and fighting out of Fire Gym with a record of 68 and 3. 25 wins by way of knockout. This man is a 2010 WPMF Intercontinental Muay Thai Champion, the 2010 W5 League World Champion, and the 2010 WMC I1 World Muay Thai Champion. Introducing Vladimir Dracula Moravchik. Your referee for tonight's fight, Dej Nakwin Shriapai. Black and white. Okay, gentlemen. I want queen fight, I want fair fight, obey my command at all times. Defend yourself all the time. When you say stop, you can stop. When you say stop, you start fight. Any question? Any question? Good luck to you, you have to go back to the corner. Interesting fight. It's going to be a match of styles and who can dominate tonight. Uh, as I said, we haven't seen Johan before, but I know he's very talented as all the fighters in the MPL are. Moravchik had a strong last round in his last fight, and if he is able to continue that here tonight, it's going to be a difficult fight for Johan. In Padova, Italy, Moravchik fought to a draw with Roberto the Godfather Presti. He's in the black shorts. Johan Lidon in the white shorts was supposed to fight in round one in Long Beach, California, but Jotza Klaia's opponent was injured, so we see him for the first time here in Den Haag, Netherlands. Lidon won his first national title in Muay Thai in France when he was just 18 years of age. He's now 28. Moravchik discovered Muay Thai about eight years ago while he was serving in the military in his native Slovakia. Interesting, as we talked and we heard earlier on about Johan's record, he's got 80 wins and 60-something knockouts. He's a big puncher, and you see it there right now. He's a very, very high knockout ratio. Standing flat-footed, and that means he's looking to drop big bombs with his power. And you got to be careful, though, just because you run the risk of getting hit with an outward knee. Nice job. Circling now. Wait, I'm going. 
Egon catching Moravchik. This was the problem Moravchik had in the first round with Sauro pressing the last time is that he would step in, walking through attacking range without throwing anything. You walk right into punches, so you got to be more careful with Johan Lidon because he has so much power in his hands. Three three-minute rounds here in men's uh, Group A middleweight action. Again, all eight competitors in each weight class guaranteed three round-robin fights for the uh, elimination round. First place in Group A meets second place in Group B. First place in Group B meets second place in Group A. And each weight class will determine a champion at the end of the round robin portion, or the end of the tournament, the end of the first season. Yep. And then the bottom four fighters, the fighters who didn't make it to the playoffs, relegated. are relegated. You drop, and you gotta come back, uh, try again to get back in the following year because uh, the competition is so fierce and we draft four new fighters, new stories, new styles, and uh, fresh faces who are trying to win the world championship. Johan Lidden right now scoring with power shots. Last minute of the opening round, Moravchik finally showing some life coming forward now in the clinch and Lidon just twists him to the canvas, just spinning around using his, his force, but yeah, Lidon seems very confident in control here in the opening round. There's Moravchik though, culminating a combination with a kick to the body. Low leg kick from Moravchik. Moravchik's just got to be careful again because of range. I mean, he's taller, he's longer. What he should be doing is keeping his distance because every time he steps in, he's getting hit with the heavy hands of Johan Lidl. He got hit with a straight left there. Moravchik from the southpaw stance now in the clinch, stepping away. Lidon with an uppercut right elbow. 15 seconds left in the opening round. Moravchik has lead on along the ropes, but see the veterans spin away from the ropes momentarily. And they will end the opening round in the clinch. Short right elbow and a straight left from lead on. Interesting first round there. Interesting first round. I mean, for me, cleaner and harder, more telling shots landed by Johan Lidon. You know, a, little, a couple knees, a couple kicks there by uh, Vladimir Moravchik, but you know, ultimately, you got to be careful. You can't walk in and get hit. You know, blocking with your face is not the smartest yeah. thing in fighting. You got to keep your hands up and make sure that if you're going through ranges, you're using your hands too. Nice sweep there by Vladimir Moravchik catching off that kick. Moravchik again there. He goes trying to close to the range, and there's where you got to be careful because of the powerful punches. That's the way that you want to step in. You want to throw combinations with your hands and follow with your kicks or your knees so that you keep your opponent on the defensive. Moravchik was um, scoring the blows there in the latter stages of the opening round. Lead on using all of his weapons, recognizing the range, using his elbow from a close up, punches from far, doing well. See our uh, ring girls dancing and keeping the crowd uh, entertained as we're in between rounds. Definitely doing a good job for us. Not the kind of moves we're used to seeing inside the ring, but we'll take it anyways. Round two is underway now. Lead on in the white shorts. Moravchik in the black. Lead on stalking him. There's a left hand followed by a right low kick. There's a right body kick. Nice push kick there, stopping the advance of uh, Vladimir Moravchik. Very calm, but very effective is Lidon. Lidon's very active. Now getting backed up though along the ropes, Moravchik coming forward. There's a horizontal left elbow from Moravchik. He has his kick caught, however, but now he trips. Lidon down to the mat. And this is more what we need to see of, from Moravchik. He's got to be more aggressive. He can't be waiting and letting his uh, opponent pick his time. He's got to be more aggressive and use what he did basically in the end of that fight with Sauro Presley. Oh, spinning back elbow, and that was nicely avoided by Lidon. Ducked underneath as Moravchik was looking for a possible home run. There's a push kick, and now he gets his 
foot swept out from under him. The champagne catch and sweep as we call it in Muay Thai. Nice low kick again from Lino. Big right hook. And why do they call it the champagne catch and sweep? You know, I, I really don't know. It's just one of those things. I guess it's a, a superstition that goes back to some sort of wedding analogy where you, uh, you know, you're step, stepping over the, the glass and sweeping it away and something like that. Nice. But it's much better told when it's told in time. <laughs> <laughs> There's a right elbow from Barabchik in closely, Don. Barabchik more aggressive in this second round. Definitely what he needs to do, but he's got to be landing more. Right now he's still walking into things. I mean, he's doing better here in the clinch, and this is, I think, the advantages, advantageous place for him in the fight. Final minute of the second stands up. Gabe Ledon the opening round. Now Miramcha coming forward, jumping in. There's a push kick. Counter left from Ledon. Needs to circle away from the ropes. There's a right nice elbow. elbow from Miramcha. Inside low leg kick. I think Ledon's got to pick up the pace a little bit. He's looking a little bit tired or something. I don't know, but he's uh, he's allowing Miramcha to get into his range a little bit more. He's got to be more aggressive and uh, put him on the back foot. Yeah, Moravchik scoring more effectively with a bigger variety of strikes in the second round. Now has him, he's pinned along the ropes momentarily. 18 seconds now left deep, followed by a right hand from Moravchik, stalking forward, right elbow. It's all Moravchik now in the latter stages of the second stanza. Oh, right uppercut by Lidon. Knee from Moravchik, right elbow misses. So a quick, Exchange here at the end of the round. Interesting round. I mean, the fight was turned around, in my opinion. Moravchik winning that round, and right now we have them at one round each. We're going to check out some replays from the action in that round. And, you know, Moravchik really pushing the pace with his knees, with his elbows, and uh, getting it on the back foot. They don't landing one and two, but here we go. You see Moravchik just stepping forward. Nice push kick, swept beautifully here by Ledon. And that was one of the shiny moments for him in that round. But the rest of the round, for me, Moravchik was the one. Here we go, had him back to the corner using his knees and his elbows landing two and three elbows at a time. There we go, teeing up those elbows. Ledon just with his back to the rope and hands up. And sometimes you have to be careful. Yes, you're defending your hands, but you don't want to stand in one spot too much with point eye weapons because there's a variety of strikes that your opponent can use against you. Beautiful uppercut that just missed. Had he landed that, could have been lights out there for Vladimir Moravchik. Still to come later tonight will be a men's group A heavyweight action. Nathan Corbett from Australia getting his hands taped in preparation for his bout against Abdi Koulibaly. In the opening round in Long Beach, California, he had a highlight KO win against Thomas Ron in the opening round. Looking to do the same here tonight. One of the baddest men on the planet. Many people think the baddest guy and pound for pound outside of town. And I might even consider him one of the baddest guys inside of town as well. The man with the golden elbows wins with his punches, his kicks, his knees, his elbow. A technician, a mass, an, an axe murderer in the ring to, to take the, the, the nickname of Vanderlei Silva. He's just a phenomenal fighter. You know, Nathan Corbett right now is, hasn't lost in about three, four years. How do you have this fight? scored thus far heading into the final round. Well, I think it's one round each, and really it's going to be who is the one that, you know, dominates this last round. Lit on at the end of that round looked a little bit tired and wasn't doing enough, and to me, just not fighting with enough urgency. Great hands, great timing, but Moravchik is hungrier right now and seems to be pushing the pace of this fight. Although Lidon beginning to take away that uh, lead leg of the southpaw, couple of chopping leg kicks delivered to the inside, doing a good job, and now Moravchik coming forward, culminating with an elbow strike. There's an elbow from Lido. Push kick from the Moravchik and a right elbow as he closes the gap. So a very aggressive start to the final round. Nice uppercut, two uppercuts landed there by Lido. He's looking for that low kick knockout for sure. Going to the body is Lido. Moravchik in the clinch. Straight right hand puts Lido on the canvas. The referee rules it a slip. Very close. Oh, it looked like a knockdown, but more of a flash knockdown. He wasn't hurt, so good call. You know, we had a couple questionable calls on those type of knockdowns in the first, in the last round there, but uh, great job by Desna. We should probably let the fighters decide it in the ring. Push kick from Lidon. Moravchik coming in with the 
this one that clinch momentarily has the underhook and there's uh, Lidon looking to just sweep Moravchik to the canvas which he succeeds in doing those, those legs are a little bit wobbled I mean I think if there was one more round we might see uh, some real damage to those lo those legs he might not have lasted uh, we'll see what happens a minute and a half left to go obviously Lidon's trying to use his hands in low kicks as we said at the beginning of the fight and Moravchik trying to get him with the clinch it's tough to score this fight right now, and I really don't know what the referees are going to say. I mean, Elbow I have... For Moravchik. Yep. Yeah, one round each, and now this round is kind of up for grabs right now. There's an elbow from Lee Don as he has Moravchik pinned along the ropes. Straight right hand follow-up. Chopping leg kick. Vladimir Moravchik in the black shorts. You on Lee Don in the white shorts. Straight right from Moravchik. Coming forward now. Has Lee Don up along the ropes. Tables are turned by Lee Don. Pins Moravchik along the ropes. There's a horizontal elbow strike countered by an elbow from Lee Don. So a lot of elbows here in the final round. Mixing things up. The science of eight limbs. The king of martial arts. It's the Muay Thai Premier League. You're watching action in the men's group A middleweight division. Out of range with that punch, and that's you got to be careful with that. I and mean, he's lucky he got into the clinch, but those are dangerous. Throwing a weapon from out of range means that you could get hit back. And right now, Moravchik, though, pressing the, 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 the base, landing more shots, and might be the one that the refs give the fight to. Ten seconds left. Interesting to see what happens. Spinning elbow. And we are once again going to the scorecards here following this uh, Group A men's middleweight matchup. Johan Lidon of France, Vladimir Moravchik of Slovakia. Who do you give the fight to? I don't know. Close one. This is one of the first times that i got to say I really don't know. I mean, I had one round each, and the last round is going to be what the refs were looking for. I mean, oh, that could have been considered a knockdown. Could have been considered a knockdown. He got right back up. Referee didn't count it, and... Uh, I don't know. We'll see what the judges are looking for. I mean, I think that Moravchik was scoring more with his knees and elbows. I think that knockdown is going to give Moravchik a yep. round as well. It's, it's scoring blow, effective, very close otherwise. But yeah, there's another elbow. I, I think Moravchik may have come back and taken this fight. Yep. yep. Yeah, Moravchik had a draw in his last fight. Well, and he doesn't want to do that again. Doesn't want to do that again. Be real disappointed to have two fights and only get one point each out of them. So we'll see what happens here with the judges right now. Yeah, Rosario Presti and he fought to a draw in Padova, Italy. Looking to uh, add to his point totals, while well, Lidon, of course, looking for his first points in the Ron Robin portion of the uh, first MPL season after his opponent, Yon St. Cly, was injured, forcing the cancellation of their bout in Long Beach, California. Just noticed a little bit of blood on the top of the head of Johan Liden. I think he was cut by one of those elbows there by Moravchik. All right, let's get the official decision from Chris Gregory. Ladies and gentlemen, after three hard-hitting rounds, we have your decision. Judge one scores them out 30-29. Judge two sees it 30-28. And judge three has it 30-27. All in favor for the winner by unanimous decision in the black corner, Vladimir Moravchik. So Vladimir Moravchik picks up a unanimous decision. Moravchik. Victory over Johan no, Lidon. Lidon. He now has three points. In the men's middleweight group A side of things. Well, there you go. You called it, Maro. Yep. I mean, uh, Moravchik won, I definitely I think, the second two rounds. But it was something that could have been, you know. It was I very was, close on some of the scorecards. 30-29, 30-28, and 30-27. Yep. Yep. But using more Muay Thai weapons, punch, kick, knee, 